there he is, the favourite, not just for this fight, but the favourite to win the flyweight gold medal here in Sydney. Bolat Jumadilov of Kazakhstan, Olympic silver medalist and uh, gold in the world championship. There's Kennedy Kenyanta, who he's to face. But uh, Jumadilov, Steve, goes in as a red-hot favourite here. I would think so, yeah, but you, know, you say he's a favourite for the gold medal. He's certainly one of them, but, you know, if he wins this one, he's got that very useful Armenian to face the free just to get a place in the semi-final. So, a very tough division, this one. Kenyatta, 21 years old. Yes, and uh, Kenyatta, by the way, he's, uh, he's boxed all over the place. He's boxed in France, he's boxed in Mauritius, and he's very proud of winning the African Championships in Egypt to qualify for this. Big table tennis fan as well. Both these uh, fighting for the first time in these games, both got buys in the opening round. So, second round in the flyweight division. Bulat Juma Dilov from Kazakhstan in the red corner. Kennedy Kenyanta of Zambia in the blue. Juma Dilov, world champion in 99. Silver medalist in 95 in the World Championships, bronze medalist in the Worlds in 97. And he's uh, been one of the performers, if not the performer, in the last few years of this division. But that was a, a good shot from the Zambian, didn't score. We're finding quite a lot of bias against some of these African countries and the, and the Asians as well. Um, they're not what we call favoured nations, Simon. Well, having said that, the Kazakhstani didn't register either of those two very good punches. Perhaps the buttons aren't working, and again from the Zambians, nothing being scored. Look at that, tremendous blows going in, no score. Maybe the technology is faltering, or uh, some of them haven't woken up quite yet. Well, Kenyanta looks like he's, uh, he's pretty useful. Um, He's got long arms, and uh, this lad in Kazakhstan is going to going to struggle here, I think. And Kenyanta is uh, much more computer friendly, or one of a better phrase. Oh, good right there from him. And once again, Simon, no nothing score. scoring. This is all in vain. I, I, I can't believe what I'm seeing, unless there's a problem with the computers, and suddenly we're going to see a, something like a 5-3 score in a minute, because this is ridiculous. It's been a good round, plenty of decent punches landed, nothing scoring. Well, 10 seconds to go, and uh, you'd have thought these two hadn't landed a single blow. Because the computer has not picked up one single point. But on, on sort of looking at it uh, with the naked eye, um, a pretty good start, I think, for Kenyatta. Yes. More than held his own there, but... Uh, well, the judges have had an even round, but I can't believe the score. There must be a fault. But it makes you wonder if, if they're having a problem with the computer and it continues, what are they going to do? Well, they always say it's not the computer, it's the people that press the buttons. But uh, on this occasion, they couldn't fail to see that there was, what, 30 or 40 good scoring blows landed in that round? Well, you make your own mind up, but uh, I find it absolutely mystifying. But before we start criticising the judges, we've got to say that there may be a computer fault here. Either way, it's pretty serious. Well, they haven't made any adjustment. Good shot. And at last, the first blow. Suddenly, they are, they're racing onto the buttons. I think, <laughs> yes. I think there was must have been a problem in the first round. Maybe I someone didn't boot the computer. Oh, a nice little right there from Jumadilov, and, uh, well, he might just have sussed this, uh, this style now of the Zambian. Good shot. Jabs don't, don't count, even though his head jerked back. 
Some of the jabs don't count, Simon, until the Cubans get in the ring. And then they seem to count for an awful lot. But then, of course, the Cubans are a breed apart. Sampia landed a right hand, didn't count. Cuba Dillon oh, landed one that did count. But it's a, a relief to see the scoreboard moving. now the Zambian isn't daunted by it well the prospect I believe of the uh, the Kazakhstani here against the Armenian in the, in, in the quarter final is a mouth watering one um, I think they're going to be made for each other Plenty of work to do here. But on the scoreboard, plenty of authority. 4-1, Jumadilov leads. Third round has just started. No uh, addition to the score. Bulat Jumadilov of Kazakhstan in red. Oh, it's a terrific shot from uh, Kennedy Kenyanta. And you can see Jumadilov really hurt by that. Lovely long by top of cut, wasn't it? Beautiful punch. And as I said in the first round, you know, he, although there was no score after two minutes, you know, he looked like he'd had the, uh, the physical um, attributes to be able to really pick up some points here with this computer. Lovely right again there from Kenyatta. Didn't score. But he's uh, reduced the arrears. Now just a point right behind. It's a, it's a real fight, this. And Dumadilov has got to get working again. Good jab. And it scored. Kenyan is not going to win this one now, but I'll tell you what, so he's put up a very good effort, hasn't he? Yep. And uh, it's a little alarming for Jumadilov that he's getting picked off by these rights which come from a long, long way back. He's obviously a tough guy, feels he can take them okay. Um, and, and he's prepared to take them to get his own punches in. Only five foot six, this Zambian, you know, and he looks a lot taller than the five foot five uh, Drew Madelow, doesn't he? Yes, he does. It certainly seems to outreach him. Uh, when the fight's at long range, he's got uh, more than an even chance, but Drew Madelow gets closer, and he's landing heavy. Once again, a very good crowd here turned up for this uh, first session, the afternoon session. And they've got a lot to look forward to, but an 8-5 lead at the moment for the Kazakhstani. Still not out of it, though, Kennedy Kenyanta. And this is uh, far from a foregone conclusion. But he's got to have a blistering final round, as Kenyanta here, if he's to take Jumadilov for one of these surprises. It will be one of the major surprises of the Olympics so far here, if Kenyanta can win this. But uh, a good third round. It's the second round that was the dodgy run for him. There's that long right, you see Jumadilov jerking his head back, the uh, follow-up left didn't score. But he is being picked off, Jumadilov, his defence is uh, not all it should be, but the aggression is counting. And we had a look at the, uh, the Kazakhstan corner man in the previous round, the end of the previous round, and it really was going at it, wasn't he? Like, like a corner man should. I mean, because there comes a point when you can tell them too much, but uh, he seemed to have done his job pretty well. Two minutes left for Kenyatta to pull this round. Good start, though, for Jumadilov. Already in the first half minute, he seems to have got the fight 
with his reach. Good right, though, from uh, Kenyanta. It's more he's four points back, but he's going to have to have uh, a bit of magic here in the closing stages. And of course, now, uh, Jumu Delop have been called on to remember all he learnt when he first started boxing and of course at this high level to try and come through this because you know the simple fact is that he can't relax for a second can he nope you have to just can't get it close enough to him on the scoreboard to really threaten 11 7 into the last 45 seconds or so It doesn't look unbeatable, though, Jubadilla. No, I, I, I go along with that, but the, the, the Armenian who he's going to face next time out, very tricky, very competent. Um, I've just got a feeling, though, that uh, Jubadilla will have his measure by a fraction. But this has been uh, a heavy fight for him, and perhaps uh, surprisingly heavy. He's have to work really hard. Kanyanta's kept him up to his task, but Jubadilla now knows he's got this fight under control not doing anything too fancy in the closing seconds. Of course, just being in the Olympic Games, of course, Simon, that uh, really does give you a bit of a boost, doesn't it? And uh, maybe Kenyanta is boxing way above himself. Well, three points. Looks to be, looks to be a, a fairly accurate gap, doesn't it, really? It does. No complaints, but obviously something went dramatically wrong in round one, and there uh, should be some kind of post-mortem there. And the judges uh, need to pep themselves up a bit, or a real look at the computer, but... It didn't have any lasting effect, which is good. And uh, Jubadilov threw a brave performance from Kenyatta, and uh, he'll have uh, other chances. He'll be presumably in Athens in 2004, and uh, by then, at the age of 25, will be at his peak. Yes. So Jubadilov takes the win. He's through to the quarterfinal, and he will meet. Vaktang Darchinian of Armenia, who we and saw earlier on. Surprisingly, the, the crowd didn't uh, accept that one too well, and uh, well, Kanyanti getting a very good hand from this crowd as he leaves the ring. 12 9. 